In this video, we're going to prove that if f is differentiable at a, then f is continuous at a. So we start our proof by supposing f is differentiable. Suppose f of x is differentiable, differentiable at a. Clearly, this means that f of a exists. Now the main goal will be to show that the limit as x goes to a of f of x equals f of a. That's the definition of continuity. So, since f of x is differentiable at a, we can write out the following limit. The limit as x goes to a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a exists. So we know that this limit here exists and will give us a number. Now we also know that the limit the limit as x goes to a of f of a will simply equal f of a because the limit of a constant will be the constant and the limit as x goes to a of x minus a will be a minus a which equals zero. So we have three limits that we know here and we need to combine these in some way to show that f is continuous. Now to get there we're going to have to rewrite f of x. So first we're going to rewrite f of x as f of x equals f of x minus f of a plus f of a. This is legitimate because we can add and subtract the same thing without changing f of x. Then what we'll do is we will take the first portion here, f of x minus f of a. We will divide by x minus a, and we will times by x minus a. Still having f plus a at the end. So this is still equal to f of x. Finally, let's take the limit of both sides. So the limit as x goes to a of f of x will equal the limit as x goes to a of the entire right hand side. f of x minus f of a all over x minus a times x minus a plus f of a. Now using the information we had from before, we know that this limit here, which is just the derivative evaluated at a, exists. This limit right here will be equal to zero, and this limit will be f of a. So evaluating each part of the limit, we get f prime of a times zero plus f of a, which is just equal to f of a. So we can say that the limit as x goes to a of f of x equals f of a and f of x is continuous. And that concludes our proof. Thanks for watching.